All right, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm coming with you with another Jeep video. I haven't really done much to it in the past year and I've just been letting the thing just deteriorate slowly. Uh, I got some new turn signals because the new ones right now are just fucked up. But uh, yeah, let's bring her in here and get started. You can see I got this one right here. Wires don't go anywhere. They gotta go over here somewhere. I just don't know which wires go to it. I also did buy more lights. I got 10 more amber lights that I kinda wanna put everywhere. I'll get started and see what I have to do. I gotta remove the grill and then uh, <laughs> really just neaten up all the wires back there because they just half-assed everything when I first did this. see what I'm talking about I'm like what is that I gotta figure out what the hell I did there coming over here this one's probably even worse just looking at that but uh yeah we'll get cracking So I just got these lights. Apparently they're really bright. So I'm thinking about just drilling a couple holes, like literally like three holes right there to have, actually I got five of these things. I got 10 of these. So I might actually do like one, two, three, four, have them be running lights and also blink. That'd actually be pretty cool. So I'm taking these off cause they weren't pretty, very bright. And every time I take a turn, people always throw their hands up being like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, you're not using your turn signal. so. Hopefully these ones will be much brighter and uh, I won't have to worry about that. All right, everything's mocked up. Everything's gonna be cleaner and shorter when I'm done. Just wanna make sure this works before I solder anything. So I have a wire coming off of the constant on, a wire coming off of the turn signal. They go into the power for the LED light and I have the ground going off over there. So uh, let's see if when I turn on the lights that this will be solid and then when I turn the signal, it'll blink. All right, so I'm not kidding here, but so I'm over here on this side. I turn on the right turn signal. And that's happening. Um, what? What in the world? All right, so upon figuring this all out, I've got one ground going to a ground off this LED. The positive, I thought I had to put both the power constant on and this uh, turn signal wire on, but I don't. If I just keep this one signal wire going to this, it'll be in running light and a turn light, which it just I just did. So now what I'm gonna do is, you can see how faintly that's on. It's not full brightness, which is nice. So what I'm gonna do is put four of these on right here. So I'm gonna just take these, cut them all, splice them all together, and then put them into this power. It turn, I don't think I need this. I don't know what this does. The, for some reason, the only thing that this does when I touch it to this shuts that off and turns on that DRL and makes it a blinker. I, I have no clue as to why, I, no clue. But uh, if I just wire this right into the uh, connector again, I should be fine. I don't know why the hell that was blinking. It's really confusing me. But uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm taking all four of these lights and I want to get rid of all this mess and combine all these into one positive and one negative. So let's start doing that. Pull that off, positive, negative for each of them. All right, now you got these, you're gonna to wanna to snip these. I bet I could do these at the same time, oh yeah. Take them all off, so you just got the uh, wires now. All 
All right, and now we got, I zip tied it here just to hold everything together, but now we have our combined negative and our combined positive to all four of these lights. So let's go mock it up again, just make sure everything works. All right, so hopefully if I didn't screw this up, when I turn the DRL on, those orange lights will be on lightly. And then when I turn the signal on, they'll should be flashing. DRL. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, so I drilled four holes here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna insert those lights and uh, go from there. Okay, so with the running lights on, the DRL on this side still is hooked up, so don't look at that. But here we have our four running lights now. Four LED amber running lights. And now when I go turn on this turn signal, it will look like this. Now, if you're wondering why they blink very fast, it's because I have LED bulbs in the rear taillights, stock rear taillights. So the computer doesn't think there's a bulb in the rear because the LEDs provide, uh, require so much less load than a halogen bulb, which is what incandescent bulb, which is what I had. So it thinks that there's no bulbs in the rear, which is why it's blinking fast, which is what your computer tells your car to do when it doesn't feel like there's a, a, like a bulb out. So you know when there's a bulb out, but I guess it's just a quick flash mod. You put LEDs in the rear, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna tidy this up, make sure everything looks good. I uh, put quick disconnects here and here because I take this fender off a lot. And uh, to get to over here, I need to put this fender liner back into another reason why I didn't want to yank these wires out after all the work I just did. So I can unclip the uh, fend these lights from the uh, body um, and go back and forth. So yeah, I'm gonna tidy all this up. As you can see, this is how it was mounted back here. Just uh, four of these, four nuts all come together. All the positives go to one, all the negatives go to one, and everything goes back into the stock harness. I'm actually gonna leave the turn signal that comes with the, like in the grill. I'm not even gonna wire that in because you can't see it. These are bright as hell now, so you don't have to worry about it. And uh, so, yeah, I'll tidy that up and uh, I'll show you guys the finished product when it's done. Watered and shrink wrapped. It looks a lot cleaner than what it did. I have the uh, one power on going just to the halo light. And then I have the other switch wire going, turn signal wire going from here all the way to these four LEDs. So when I turn on the running lights, these are on and this is on. And then when I turn the turn signal on, these will flash and that stays solid. So uh, everything's good. I put these quick disconnects in and then uh, I'll finish that side, do everything I did on that side, on this side, and then uh, I'll tidy it all up and show you the final result. All right, we're out here in the rain because I forgot to film it, but this is the final product. Looks way better. Very bright. So, you know, it's all tidied up. Everything's shrink wrapped. And then on top of that, electrical tape. This plug doesn't even do anything. This light's not even plugged in anymore because you can't see it anyway coming down the road. It's literally right behind that bar. So you got these and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.